Uh, mainly, uh, it was super good. Um, enjoyed every bit of it, um, but I was really just looking to help the team any way I could to find wins this weekend, and uh, we got two of them. Wish we could have got three, but just looking for more wins. Did you go into this weekend expecting to start all three games? Um, I did not. Um, um, I kind of just been working my tail off, um, just trying to find a way to help the team any way I can. Um, in practice, pushing other players. Um, never really the intention to try to take anybody's spot, but just to work as hard as I can any way I can. Um, and once we got there, just any like any normal day, um, got to the field on game day, saw the roster, saw my name, was pumped, um, and just tried to help the team out could win. What, what were those emotions when you saw your name on the lineup card? Um, it was cool, you know, I mean, it's what you work for. Um, but again, I mean, you just look at it and you're like, okay, sweet. It's just another chance to f help the team find a way to win. You know, this is your first start. Obviously, you come in as a pretty highly touted recruit. For those who don't know your type of play, what, how would you describe yourself? Okay. Um, before I got here, um, I was a little bit more of a flashy kind of player, um, a player that kind of wasn't fun fundamentally, like, fully developed. Um, but once I came here in the fall, worked super hard with Coach Hinkle, Coach Waz, Coach Martyr, figured out all those little things. Um, still am figuring out those things um, for sure, but just the improvements that they've already helped me make super duper crazy. So just keeping looking forward to the improvements. And what that home run feel like? I, I know you made an error earlier in the game, but maybe some sort of redemption mm -hmm. in that moment. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, once the error happened, you kind of just put it aside you uh, right after it happens, just clear your head, get ready for the ball again. But um, getting that chance to be able to get it back on the other side um, is huge. You, again, you just try to find a way to help the team win. Do you have that home run ball? I do. Um, after the game, uh, Waz handed me a, a ball and I, he was like, here's your first home run ball. I was like, sweet. Uh, right now it's currently uh, hanging up in my room. But once my parents come down, they'll have it. Some of those, you, you talked about how Martyr and Hinkle and helped you, you know, kind of learn just the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. What are some of the, the big fundamentals that helped you and you know, now have you starting at shortstop coming into this weekend? Um, just for me, it's a lot about moving my feet. Um, I kind of relied on my hands a lot more than I should have, but um, just including my feet and moving more um, has been huge. Um, Hinkle has us all working together um, and improving in our game, so it's He's, I think he's a huge part in uh, how I've developed. Who are some of the older, I guess, uh, more or less the infielders on the team that have kind of helped you learn those fundamentals and then learn just what it's like to play at the, the Division One, the Pac-12 yeah, uh, level? I mean, all of them. Uh, Drew Kelly, Gavin Grant has been a huge one for me. Um, obviously, him being the shortstop, um, he's been huge helping me learn the defense, um, pretty much the whole, the whole game of it. Um, he's helped slow it down. Um, but I mean, if I'm going to owe it to anybody to that's helped me, it's been Gavin Grant for sure. And being able now to work with him up the middle is awesome. And I'm hoping to develop that relationship with him and, and grow. Given the quality of competition you guys have faced, how battle tested do you feel already this season? And I wonder, if, do you feel that was reflected in being able to come back and win a couple games last week? Um, I feel like we faced some good competition. Um, obviously, Walsh tries to line up, um, games before the season, before Pac-12 Pac play, um, with some good competition, so that way we come in ready to, um, you know, not surprised by anything, but um, I think they do a good job in preparing us to come in and compete. I mean, no matter who we play, we're out here just trying to find a way to win, um, whether it looks ugly or whether it's the best game we've played, just any way we can to find a way to win. Hitting bottom in the order of eight, just how nice is that to have the, the type of guys ahead of you and then have Grant with his experience mm -hmm. behind you? How, how, like how much rate, weight did that take off your shoulders stepping in there? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, our lineup is loaded. Um, even the guys on the bench, like we could have anybody come in and we have top hitters off the bench. Uh, we have hitters that other teams don't have um, all the, coming off the bench. So, I mean, having those guys in front of me, um, takes off a huge load because I mean in high school it's completely different you know like you're you're that one guy maybe that provides the whole offense but with the lineup that we have it's just I mean it's not all on you and the way that our offense works you know like the momentum one guy starts it and it keeps going and it keeps going and it just becomes uh, infectious and 
the lineup just moves. So it does take a lot of weight off the shoulder. And then having Grant behind me um, is huge because even when I'm on the odd deck circle getting ready, I mean, he's just in my ear, like calming me down, getting me ready to go. So it's huge. You mentioned how important Grant has been. How has it been in the field having him up the middle with you and then Sabine to your right, you know, both guys with, yeah. with good range? Um, it's been awesome. Uh, obviously, they both have a lot of experience. Um, Sabine, I mean, he's a crazy infielder. Uh, he does things a lot of guys can't. Uh, he's got a cannon on him. Uh, I mean, he moves like an international player, like a guy from Puerto Rico, you know. Uh, he comes with that that skill and that nobody else has, um, which is huge. And then having Gant, Grant, um, he's just that guy that's had experience here, you know, and him being the guy that can play shortstop and also uh, second base is, is huge. And having him there with me to talk me through things is, is ginormous. What does your experience in the game tell you about the value of wins like the couple you got last week, last mm -hmm. weekend and just the belief it can instill going forward the rest of the year about presumably kind of never feeling yeah. like you're out of a game. Yeah. Um, I mean, we went down seven early. Um, the pitchers, the pitchers do what they can, um, it, which is huge. You can tell they compete and they can do, they try to do whatever they can to keep, you know, obviously these high leveled offensives, uh, offenses down. But um, I mean, we go down seven in that uh, second game. And I mean, the offense that we have, we believe we can come back from, from any kind of deficit. So it's, it's huge. Was talked about just the experiences of a road trip that can kind of bring chemistry to the team, and then you have these comeback wins as well that you know can bring even more chemistry. Did you feel like after this series, you guys are a little bit closer on on the team as a whole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, having that road trip is definitely huge. Um, obviously, we went through like a little bit of a, a losing streak, but a road trip like this, um, obviously my first one, mm -hmm. uh, experiencing that was was huge for us. I think um, we all came together, bus right there. Super cool bus ride back, obviously, after uh, winning the series was, was just awesome. Um, you could tell, like, the team has just come together. Um, we kind of had to talk about rebuilding the culture, and now we're just playing to win and just find a way. So, I mean, it's huge. Road trip can do a lot for you. So we'll see what it had done for us coming in the future. From here, where are you looking to improve upon the most? You've got three starts under your belt. Just where do you go from here? Personally, yeah, for you. Um, I mean, uh, this weekend, I personally don't feel like I played the way I could have. Um, had a good series. Uh, defensively, tighten up. Offensively, could have better approach at the plate. Um, obviously, going to go into this week working on that. But um, just any way that I can help the team find a way to get more wins uh, is going to be huge. So that's all my goal is.